On this episode of EJ Tech, I went to the dollar store for some raw materials. I do a shoot outside instead of my warm and comfy inside because that makes a better video. And we talk about Tension PC. Six months later, we're gonna be doing some benchmarks and we're gonna make an air filter and the, that's why dollar store. This, this case is made of steel, it's heavy. But before we go outside, let's relax inside where it's warm and not windy and gloomy. So I've been using Tension PC as a daily driver for the past six months and oh boy, it's so much better than using my laptop. Not only that, I have much nicer monitors now. This is a 22 inch IPS. This is a 900p TN that I got for free. So, hey, it's free. Now I have known about the advantages of having a desktop way before I even bought my laptop. But it's only now, like only recently, where I have noticed that, oh yeah, I don't have to bring my laptop to school every day anymore. And oh boy. The expandability, the upgradability. If you can, get a desktop. But of course, if you do need to bring your computer every day or all around and Seriously, you, you still need a laptop. Ever since the last video, I never actually needed to do any upgrades. The only thing that has been replaced is the hard drive. The hard drive that came with it, the 500 gigabyte Barracuda one, yeah, that it is basically about to die and it's essential. Every time I make it, I use it, it's like, So I eventually replaced it. I finally bought a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda, 50 bucks, brand new, and there we go. I got a two terabyte mechanical hard drive. Now, other than the old hard drive going, it gave me no issues actually. It, this thing just worked. Yes, it gave me a quite a bit of issues when I first got it and I first tried to put it together, but now I'm using it for the past six months. This thing just works. <laughs> actually, no. I do have a bit of issue with it. It's a little bit of a dust vacuum. So the air configuration here is positive airflow, but because it doesn't have a filtered air intake, it just sucked in all the dust. I mean, it's not like R slash tech support gore kind of dust. So I went off to buy some materials in the thrift store. Hey, I'm not putting way more money into this machine already. And with the magic of editing, I already have the front filter installed. There we go. Nice air filter made of used pantyhose and some plastic. So now let's talk about thermals and benchmarking. But for that, we're going to have to go outside. And we're outside, just like magic. And it's only eight degrees Celsius, but it's windy, so it's also cold. It's not yet sub-zero though. Speaking of temperatures, Tension PC's thermal switch is all over the place. Like, I tried to keep things like ambient temperature consistent. I tried my best with the fan speed, but I couldn't get like proper consistent results. And if I do get results, uh, it says that there's no difference. It's, or maybe it's like in the margin of error. Maybe it's my test methodology. Like I know I'm not like Gamers Nexus where they have all the equipment and all the scientific knowledge. The 92 millimeter exhaust fan, it runs at whatever temperature that the intake air sensor detects. So I got no control over that. Same thing with the CPU fan. I got no control over that as well. Also, it's starting, my dialing is inconsistent. Uh, I, I, I'm not God. I, I can't control the sun. Actually, no, it's not the sun, it's the clouds. So my thermal results are mostly going to be anecdotal. Sorry to disappoint. I did replace the thermal paste of the RX 570 with some fancy Noctua NTH1 and I got a whopping 10 degrees cooler temperatures. It 
which is a big deal because it prevents it from hitting like 80 degrees, for example. So I'm gonna show the results anyway. If you look at the first few tests, there seems to be an improvement. Five degrees cooler, maybe. If I don't have, if I have the fan fully automatic, it'll be like, I don't know, the fan speed's gonna be lower. Like in general, I am getting lower temperatures. So despite the test results, where the 120 millimeter fan doesn't really give that much better thermals for the graphics card especially, I'm still keeping it there for two reasons. One, again, it's kind of anecdotal evidence here. Like if I put my hand, let's say I give the GPU like a good warming up with super precision. If I put my hand inside without the 120 mil fan, it is warm, like noticeably like warm inside. The 120 mil fan definitely helps like at least getting the air moving to the uh, in the rest of the case, even if the GPU doesn't really take much advantage of that extra intake of the air. Another is it gives positive air pressure inside the case. So I'm definitely keeping that 120 mil fan as an intake and then just keeping the filter in front and hopefully that will keep the dust problem in control. We'll be right back after the break. I'm still very happy with the system. It's a lot of fun. It's one thing where you buy off-the-shelf computer parts and you put it in your off-the-shelf computer case, building it, that is so common nowadays. What's more fun is taking a pre-built, upgrading it, and making it work jury rig style. That's more fun, and that is the kind of content you're gonna keep seeing here on my channel. And then the great thing about getting a used pre-built and then just giving it upgrades because once you do upgrade your platform to something much better like Ryzen I already have the power supply, storage devices, graphics cards, the little cables and like um, the fans all of those things are like ready to go so all I need to do is like plop in the board with the Ryzen processor and RAM and I'm off to the races with all the six core goodness which also doesn't mean that the Dell motherboard, the i5, and the DDR3 RAM is all gonna be all a waste. Not really. I can repurpose it as a NAS. I'm thinking of like building a custom NAS case, like a DIY NAS case, and then using the Dell Optiplex parts as like the base platform, and then um, Lime Tech, Unraid, Unraid, yeah. Install Unraid on it, and then some red drives, Bam, I'm gonna have a really nice NAS. Liger's gonna like, haters gonna hate. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I now finally started posting on Instagram. I take good pictures. Damn, it's cold, I can't think straight. Again, I'll still prefer the cold over hot. Yeah, there should be links here right now for other videos. So, and yeah, thanks for watching.